Hello, um, my name is Michael Lavery. I'm the head chef at Forza Win and Forza Wine, and I'm going to show you how to make a custardo. Um, a custardo is, uh, by a country mile, our most popular dessert. It's the only one we've never taken off the menu. It is an espresso topped up with hot custard. So it's very similar to an affogato. It's essentially a hot affogato. If you melted your ice cream, you would have a custard. You mix it with hot espresso, it's delicious. So what you need to make it, first of all, I'm gonna show you the liquid element because I need to get it on the heat to boil. This is 250 grams of milk and 250 grams of double cream. Into that, we're gonna use, we're gonna add a vanilla pod, a real vanilla pod. Don't use any fake vanilla. There's not really any point. Vanilla pods are expensive, but they go a really, really, really long way. And when it's spent, you can put it into sugar and flavor things with it. You can really get your money's worth with them. So I'm gonna split and scrape this vanilla pod, all the seeds there. That is going into the milk and cream mixture. I'm gonna put it on a high heat to come up to the boil, okay? While that's boiling, we're gonna talk about everything else you'll need. We have 100 grams of egg yolks. Usually this is about five egg yolks. They average out about 20 egg grams a yolk. That is 100 grams of caster sugar. We have a thermos flask. That's gonna keep the custard warm while we make the coffee. We have a jug to pour the finished custard into. We have a sieve, spatula, rubber handle spatula is best, a whisk, and this is my chosen coffee maker. You can use any method of making espresso that you like. So while I've been chatting away, the milk and the cream and the vanilla, I'll come up to the boil, almost. When they're ready, we will put a cloth under this bowl so it doesn't move around. And then we'll slowly pour the liquid over the yolks and the sugar while whisking to bring it together. After that, we're gonna go back into the pan on a super low heat and we're gonna thicken the custard. All right, here we go. So that is off the heat. I'm gonna turn the stove right down to low, ready for the next stage. See, this is nice and hot. and into the yolks and sugar mix it goes. Everything in. You finish with your whisk. And there we have unthickened custard. We're gonna go back into the same pan. And before we put that on the heat, we need to make sure everything we need is in place. So when the custard is ready, we're gonna pour it through this sieve into this jug. And while it's still hot, we're gonna pour it from the jug into that flask, that was loud, <laughs> into that flask, okay? So when you're thickening your custard, the important thing to do is be patient and don't ignore it. Stand over it, keep an eye on it, and use a rubber spatula to stir it. You put it on a low heat, you can't go too low. It will take longer to thicken if you go very low, but it will still work. If you go too high, it will scramble and you need to start again. Um, my advice on knowing when it's ready, it's very difficult to describe a correct thickness. You can't, it's impossible. So I have a cup with water and I have a tasting spoon, okay? Whenever the custard starts to look rich and velvety and starts to thicken and you, you think it's ready, all you have to do is taste it. If it tastes luxurious and thick and it coats the mouth and it's, it tastes good, then it's ready. If it doesn't taste good, it needs to go a bit further. Um, if you don't have the, the equipment to make an espresso at home, you make a strong coffee. 
strong filter, strong pour over, anything you want to do, just make it strong. That's the important bit. It's starting to leave tracks in the pan when you when you pull the spatula through, you can see it thickening and the viscosity is increasing. That is ready. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it through the sieve. This will take out any stray bits of egg yolk that may have solidified and it catches the vanilla pod. There we have it. Custard. So, the hot custard is gonna go into a flask. It will make about 10 custardos. Hopefully you'll have friends around. Hopefully you'll want more than one, but you'll make a lot of custardos. And also it's a standard custard recipe. You can use it for anything. You can freeze it, it keeps in the fridge for up to five, six days. So it's versatile. Who doesn't like extra custard? So next thing we're gonna do is make an espresso and finish the drink. I have a boiled kettle. I have a pretentious hand-pulled espresso machine because that's the sort of guy that I am. And let's make an espresso. Okay, that's done. Last few drops coming through. Here we have one fresh espresso. You can see the crema is quite a good coffee, I think. Next, we have our custard. If you leave this for a few hours, all the vanilla seeds are going to fall up, float, are going to sink to the bottom. So give it a good shake so everybody gets their fair share of vanilla. Get the lid back on. You've got another nine or ten custardos in there. Give it a little stir. And there we have it. It's velvety, it's rich, it's thick. It's very sweet, it's quite luxurious. Sorry about the slurping noises. And I think it's quite a nice end to a meal. Hope you enjoy that. Good luck making it.